Welcome to our video on R programming and machine learning. Today we're tackling a question that many data scientists encounter when working with H2O. Our viewer is eager to learn how to directly plot the Rossi curve of an H2O model object in R. Our viewer has been enjoying their experience with H2O's R interface, particularly with random forest models. They want to evaluate their model's performance by plotting the rock curve, but they find the documentation a bit unclear. While they've seen how to do this in Python, they're looking for a straightforward method in R. Currently, they are extracting predictions using a specific function and then utilizing the PROC package to create the Rossi plot. However, they wish to streamline this process by plotting directly from the H2O model object or the H2O model metrics object. Let's explore how we can help them achieve that. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To plot the Rossi curve for your H2O model in R, we first need to ensure that you have the H2O library installed and initialized. If you haven't done this yet, let's start by loading the library and initializing H2O. Next, after training your model, you can directly access the model metrics, including the rock curve, using the H2O model metrics object. This is done by using the h2o.performance function. Now that we have the rock data, we can plot the rock curve using the h2o.plot function. This will give you a visual representation of the true positive rate versus the false positive rate. Finally, remember to check the area under the curve, or AUC, which is a crucial metric for evaluating the performance of your model. You can easily retrieve this from the performance object. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To plot the Rossi curve for an H2O model in R, you can use the model performance metrics with H2O's plot function. Here's a full code example. First, initialize H2O and run a GLM model using your data set. This code will generate the rock curve, allowing you to visualize the model's performance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Currently, there isn't a function in H2O's R or Python clients to directly plot the rock curve. While the rock method in Python provides the necessary data, it doesn't create the plot itself. I've created a JIRA ticket to suggest adding this feature. In the H2O flow GUI, you can automatically see the rock curve for any binary classification model. If you train a model in R, you can access the flow interface to view the rock curves for training, validation, and cross-validation. Here's an example of what the, what the rock curve looks like in the H2O flow interface. You can easily visualize the performance of your model.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To plot the rock curve of an H2O model in R, first run the model performance and extract the necessary data using the thresholds and metric scores. You can then use ggplot to create the Rossi curve. Here's an example code snippet. Start by loading the required libraries and initializing H2O. Then import your dataset and run a GLM model. After that, extract the data for the rock curve and plot it. The resulting plot will show the relationship between the false positive rate and the true positive rate, giving you a visual representation of your model's performance. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.